will expand from Savannah Highway to Johns Island, eventually ending on James Island. News 2's Travis Rice was at the City Council meeting tonight, has more on what it means. Travis? Good evening, Brendan and Carolyn. The City of Charleston made it very clear tonight they want to finish 526, which reignites the debate about it all over again. We need to go back to the state capital and they need to figure out where that money is going. Conceptually, it makes sense to me that people utilizing the roads would be the ones to pay for it. Wherever you stand on finishing 526. I think we could probably afford to pay for it if we cut back on all the wasteful taxes that we already pay. The bill that Charleston County and the city are eyeing to pay is pretty steep. It's going to cost twice the city's annual operating budget. I mean, that's, in, that's an absurd amount of money. Zealots on either side in council chambers Tuesday, hoping the mayor would double back on his plan of connectivity. Glenda Miller lives on Johns Island and says there should be neighborhoods for everyone. People who need a Mount Pleasant kind of neighborhood with more shops and stores, restaurants, schools, wonderful. But people who want a more rural neighborhood like Johns Island, should be able to have that sort of neighborhood. Councilman Marvin Wagner says it's a matter of public safety and the possibility of being stranded. Because if we don't and we have a catastrophic event, we're going to see people die on Johns Island, Wadmola Island, Seabrook Island, Kiowa Island because they can't get off the island. In other related news, the State Infrastructure Bank was supposed to meet this Thursday, but instead canceled. 526 was on the agenda there, but that meeting will not be until next month. Reporting in studio, Travis Rice, News 2.